The angels of Dragon Ball, along with the gods they serve, are the highest ranked beings in the universe that they are in. Recently, all 12 gods of destruction got revealed, and along with that, they also showed the angels. Unlike the gods, the angels are all from the same race, but with the introduction of new gods and angels, there is the opposite, the demon world, which isn't playing much of a role right now in Dragon Ball Super, but it has been referenced before. We saw a glimpse of it in the last arc, and even though he wasn't a part of the demon realm, it did set up for the first evil. Kai. The angel race can be identified through this blue halo around their neck. Each of them has it, and the only one to not is the Dai Shinkan. He has one around the top of his head. The Grand Priest, or the Dai Shinkan, is the father of the angel lifeforms, and as of right now, is the strongest known angel. His personality is reflective of the other angels we've seen in the series, in that he's very laid back and rarely ever gets angry. In the anime version of the series, the Dai Shinkan is said to be in the top 5 strongest fighters in the multiverse. We see even backs him up and says that even his own power is no match. However, in the manga, it's a little bit different, and it flat out says that he is the strongest fighter in the multiverse. This obviously doesn't include Zeno, because Zeno is not a fighter, he just has raw power, which I guess is why he's so amazed at all the fights going on in the multiverse tournament. The power of the angel race is ridiculous. They are without a doubt the strongest race in the series, but to be fair, they are mentors to the gods of destruction, so it is to be expected. When Goku and Vegeta were both sparring with Whis at the same time, they couldn't touch him. Whis was moving so fast because he is capable of reacting and moving faster than his opponents can think, and so he instructs the rest of his body to react to the movements of his opponents before they even know what they're about to do themselves. Since all the angels are so similar to each other, they would all be able to do this, just with some better than others. The angels might seem like an overpowered species, and when they're functioning, they definitely are. However, in Dragon Ball Super, there used to be 18 universes instead of the 12 we know now. Universe 13 through 18 had gods, kais, and everything else, but when Xeno destroyed the 6 universes, everything would have died, except the angels. Similar to what they're doing now in the multiverse tournament, when a universe loses, everyone dies, except the angels. So that leaves the question, where are the other 6 from the universes 13 through 18? The only thing I can think of, and this leads on to another huge weakness of this species, whenever the god of destruction that the angel attends to dies, the angel will lose all of their strength and stop functioning until another god appears. Since there was no replacement for universes 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 17, the attendant angels are still not functioning. And that makes me think, if universe 6 or 7 lose, what's going to happen to Whis and Vados, because the god that they serve will be gone. There have been a lot of variations of the demon name before. First there was Devil Man, and for a while Piccolo was called the Demon King. However, the real demons come from the Demon Realm. This was briefly mentioned in the series, and it was when Supreme Kai was scouting out Bubbity and found Deborah. He mentions that he was the strongest of the Demon Realm. This has been expanded upon more in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, but to sum it up, the Demon Realm race is a dimension separate from the main universe. It's actually located on the opposite side. Considering Deborah was their most powerful, they are nowhere near as strong as Whis or any of the other angels, however they do have special abilities. Deborah was able to spit on something and instantly turn it to stone. The only demon to become a god was Demigra, and that was only in Xenoverse and not yet in the main series. Probably the most interesting type of demons are the Mikayu Shin. These are demon Kais and have yet to be shown in Dragon Ball and only mentioned in guidebooks. So far Zamasu is the closest thing to a Mikayu Shin, but even he is still not 100%. To be a Mikayu Shin, you have to be a Kai that was born in the demon realm, so basically like an evil Kai. What I'm thinking with Zamasu is that since Zeno destroyed the universe he was in, everything is gone, but his conscience is still immortal. Maybe he slipped through to the other side of the universe into the demon realm. Anyway, that has been the Angels and Demons. Dragon Ball Super right now is focusing a lot more on Goku and the other universe's fighters more than anything, but the Angel race is becoming a lot more known as the days go by, so let me know what you think of them. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.